Hey everybody, it's Brandon again with another Chrome OS Flex video. And um, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's because I got my 3D printer running in the office here. So I apologize for that. But um, that thing takes like a whole day to run. Anyway, it's a uh, cold day today, but I got my coffee. And so let's do some Chrome stuff. Um, yesterday, I put a video of how to install different Linux applications on Chrome OS Flex. And one of the things we got working was Steam, but it wasn't straightforward. And I had to do all these workarounds just to get it running. So today I put together the exact steps you need to get Steam running on Chrome OS Flex. And I assume it'll work on regular Chrome OS too. That way uh, you can get you can get Steam on here. Because I figure that's something a lot of people would probably want. And we're going to... Act like this is a fresh install of Chrome OS and go through everything you need to do. And I've already done all that on this here laptop. So I won't be able to show you exactly, but I'm going to walk you through everything. And I will also put all the terminal commands that you need to know into the video description so you can copy and paste. So the first thing you need to do to get Steam running on Chrome OS is to open your settings application. And on the left side, you'll see an advanced and you click on that, and then there will be a developers option. So you go to developers, and here it'll say Linux development environment or something of that sort, and mine's already active, but if yours isn't, you'll have to toggle a switch to activate the Linux environment. And once you do that, it'll take a minute or so. I gave mine 20 gigs of a disk size, but keep in mind, it looks like anything you install on Steam is going to go towards this whatever disk size you use for Linux. So you might want to make it bigger than 20 gigs. I think it defaults to 10. But if you're going to install a lot of games, you might want to crank that up. And of course, it's going to depend on what kind of hard drive you got in your laptop. But I got 20 for this. After you got it all up and running, you are going to get a new icon down here, which I don't know where mine went. But it looks like this. It's the terminal icon. So you're going to want to let that open up. It'll take a moment to start up. And once that's running, there are a couple of things we're going to have to install first. A couple of commands. And I got them right here. The first one, we're going to type sudo apt git install lib c6-i386. And this is going to be in the video description. You can copy and paste that. And it's not going to do anything on mine because I already have it installed. That might take a few minutes. The next thing you're going to want to do is sudo dpkg dash dash add dash architecture space 386, which again I've already done, so it's not going to do anything on mine. After that, you want to do a sudo apt git update. And we actually should have done that first. And then once that's done, the last thing we're going to do is a sudo apt install libgl1-mesa-dri colon i386 space libgl1 colon i386. Again, I already have it done on mine. And so once all that is installed, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all the prerequisites you're going to need to get Steam running on this thing. Next thing you want to do is fire up your browser. And we're going to download Steam. So Steam download, I'll search for, if I can type. Go to the Steam website. We'll click on Install Steam. And by default, it gives you the Windows download option. That's not what we want. Then you have the Apple option, and the one that looks like the Steam icon is the Linux option. So you'll click on that. It's going to download a file called <clears throat> steamlatest.dev. And that file, you just double-click on it and install it. I've already done that on mine, so I'm not going to do it again. But that'll go through the normal uh, Steam installation. And if you did all the steps in the terminal that I said at the beginning, this installation should go through just fine. And then you'll get the normal Steam setup. It'll install some things, and it'll make you um, put in your little Steam guard code. Once you got all that done, you should have Steam. And anything you install that's for Linux is going to show up in a little folder on your app drawer called Linux Apps. And... <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I think I clicked on it. Um, the first time you load, you launch Steam after you've rebooted your computer, I noticed it takes a little while, especially on this old laptop. It's also possible I didn't click on it properly because I don't see it loading. So let's try that again. Trust me, it'll go. Okay. So we have Steam here. It's just like any old Steam that you uh, have on your Windows. The only thing I've installed on this um, little Chrome laptop so far is Half-Life 1, the original. And I played it, and it worked. So that was fine. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I'm pretty sure anything that's for Linux you should be able to install and run on here. Um, I, that Half Life is the only thing I tried. But one thing, as a Linux user on my main computer, that I can tell you, if you want to play Windows games through Steam on Linux, you go up to the Steam menu and Settings, and oh, it's an you go down to Steam Play at the bottom, and if you click on this, it'll automatically say Enable Steam Play for supported titles. But if you click on this Enable Steam Play for all other titles. I've been able to run pretty much my entire Steam library on Linux with that option selected. So I'd suggest doing that. And you'll probably be able to run a lot of your Windows programs too. So hopefully this worked for you. Hopefully you got some good information out of this. This is how I got Steam working on a Chrome OS Flex. This is an Asus laptop. And so if you have any troubles with it, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll be able to figure out what went wrong and we'll be able to get it working for you um and if you have any other chrome os questions let me know i've had several people ask several things i'm will try to make videos explaining at least to the best of my knowledge uh try to answer some of the other questions i've gotten i've only been using chrome os for like three days now but i do know a little bit about linux so that's helped me quite a bit on this and i think chrome os has been a fun operating system to use so far if you have an old laptop, I think it can really breathe new life into it. There's a lot of neat things you can do. And so <clears throat> thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to join me on this learning how to use Chrome OS journey together. I think it's been a lot of fun so far. I hope you had fun too, and I hope you learned something. And until next time, thank you for watching. Bye now.